Good morning to you. As you can see from my really pale complexion and my anemic tone, I am in fact Scottish. So today we're going to do a traditional Scottish recipe, probably the most traditional one there is, shortbread. Now shortbread came about when they removed the yeast from making bread and added butter, hence became in shortbread. And that's what we're going to do. Read easy recipe, three ingredients, sugar, flour and butter. And I'm adding a wee of chopped cherries just to make a little bit of flavour to it. Now my nan, she was Scottish and she had many many recipes of these things. And I'm going to try and replicate some of those things from her book. So this is very traditional. You may put corn flour and other baking powders and things in nowadays to get more flavour. But I am going to stick to the traditional ways. Now as you can tell, my Scottish accent isn't quite perfect. Uh, I've been watching, I've been learning from the family for years and years, but quite frankly, I am Bristolian well, twang of Scottish in me. So I'm going to try my best to kind of continue this weird, strange accent through the whole of my video, just to see how bad it can actually be. By the way, how do you like my camel band and wee hats? Isn't it fantastic? Right, anyway, to the shortbread baking, here we go. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. Right there ladies and jelly beans, for this one is rather simple eh? All you're going to need is sugar, plain flour, butter, chopped cherries for a little bit of flavour. You're going to need a bowl, you're going to need a spoon to mix with the bowl and a sifter, sifter flour. That's all you're going to need on oh, a tray. Preheat your oven to gas mark 4 or 180 degrees. Leave go until the mix is ready to pop in. Now, what you're going to need is 4 ounces of butter, 2 ounces of sugar, and six ounces of plain flour. And that is your lot, my friend. That is all you need. As always, take your butter and sugar and blend them together to the creamy wee paste. Should take you about a couple of minutes to make this as smooth as I leave this wee behind. And blend away, my baby. Right, now your butter's all a creamy texture like this, what you want to do is you got to add your wee cherries in there. Now most people won't add these but I just like a wee little bit of taste and a bit of a texture to my shortbread. Now, what you're going to do, load up and you're going to add your flour. Now it's best to sift the flour in so you get a nice soft texture. Because if you just whack it in you're going to get lumps. so why not just sit it all in now. Oh no I've lost me thing! All panic in the moors. Right, there we go. I think I'm taking the accent a wee bit too far, some may say. Uh, I don't rightly know what the hell's going on. So, bloody loads of flour. So what you do, sieve in your flour. Now I'm going to need quite a lot of this stuff. So, I'm going to carry on shaking for about 17 hours and then I'll be back to show you what it's like once I've sifted in all the flour. Now the next stage will be, you slowly fold in the flour. Don't do it too fast, just fold it in nice until you get it all mixed with your butter and sugar. Once you've done that, well we're nearly done then, home straight we finished into pan, bake, done, taste and eat. So, I'll let you go and have another wee rest. I'll be back when we fill the pan. Keep stirring. It won't take long. As you can see, it's kind of like a wee crumble mixture. But, if you grab it and pack it tight, it stays together. And that is what we're after. Now, what we're going to do is pack this into the tin. Pack it down tight. Like this, I just put it in. I mean, some people would like to use a spoon. Me, no, I just use the wee hand that God gave me. Pack it in. Nice and tightly. So you push all this in and then pack it down. So, that's what I'm going to do. Add me wee mixture in. Now, for 30 seconds, I am going to swap my accent. Just so you good people know exactly what I'm doing here. So... Back to Bristolian in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, what you've got to do 
is once you've made up your mixture using I've doubled my mixture because I want a lot more here so I've used four ounces of sugar eight ounces of butter and 12 ounces of flour mixed it all lightly I'm packing this down now well, I've added chopped cherries as well I'm packing this down in I've got my oven set to gas more at 480 degrees that's going to be in there for about 10 minutes till it's golden brown pack it all in tight um, once that's done you leave it to cool afterwards so I thought I'd just go over the recipes again in my normal accent so you could all understand exactly what I'm on about rather than going I can't do all the like every 20 seconds and new luck like that or oh, as my nan used to say to me when I talked too much as a wee boy she used to say wish you know your brother in ski which kind of means shut up anyway so I'm gonna pack this down once it's all packed nice and tightly into the oven 15 minutes jobby done now as you can see there's one thing I didn't mention to you that's packed in real tight there lovely nice and firm but the, the thing I don't do, you do not, when you're cooking shortbread at all, don't grease the tin. It's got enough butter in there and it's just pop out on its own, so do not grease the tin. So, ready to go. And uh, <laughs> I can tell the accent is feeling quite a lot now. So I'm going to have to stop real soon. This oven, 15 minutes, new. There we have it. Traditional sky shortbread. It is fantastic. It should be a light little bit of brown colour to it, but almost like uh, still like Scottish people. No offence to you, you are the most wonderful people in the world, but slightly anemic looking colour. And that's how shortbread should be. It shouldn't be kind of toasted brown, it should be just lightly touched with a hint of the brown colour. And that is it. So there we go. What we're going to do now is once that's all cooled down, I'm going to ch ch chop it up, take it round to me nan, and uh. Let her test that. See what she thinks. Because old people, they really are the tasting cake professionals. If they haven't tasted a good cake, nobody has. So anyway, enjoy making the shortbread. It's very tasty and it's very, very quick. Have fun. take our land, but they'll never take our shortbread. Well, thanks for watching. Enjoy the shortbread. <laughs>